Scene opens with Amy and Cream putting up the last of the Christmas decorations in Amy's house. Amy, these decorations are so festive. I think it will be enough to draw in even a grump like Mr. Shadow. <laughs> I think you're right, Cream. Rouge helped me pick these out after all, so they must be to his liking, and hopefully Sonic's as well. Oh, I hope you're right. Christmas is my favorite time of year, and I can't wait to spend it with all of you. Amy secures the last of the lights. Exactly. And there, finally finished. Now all we have to do is wait. They should be here any minute now. Cream jumps down from the stool and grins widely. Suddenly, Sonic zooms in. On time as always. How could I not be, Ames? I'm the fastest thing alive. Besides, I'm only late to things I don't care about. And I definitely care about your annual Christmas party. Aw, Sonic. I'm glad to know you enjoy it. Of course. And anyways, it's fun to see if Shadow will actually show up every year. Cream looks to the side, hands close together. He always disappoints me in that regard. I just want Shadow to realize the joy Christmas brings, because maybe that could bring some happiness into his life. Don't worry, Cream. This year, I believe he will. After all, Rouge and Omega told me they would try to convince him. Really? Mm-hmm. Ugh. You guys are so lame. Why are you all upset over that baker? Everyone knows I'm the superior. Everyone matters, Sonic. And if you were so superior, you would recognize that. Hm. Sonic crosses his arms and jumps onto the couch. You girls are no fun. H hey, let's do something. Didn't you say you baked some cookies, Cream? Cream lights up and heads to the kitchen. Yes! <laughs> My brown sugar ginger snaps! My mom's recipe! Cream flies back with a tray and offers some to Sonic. He picks three out and shoves them into his mouth. Mm. Mm. Not bad. These might even top Amy's. What did you say? Uh, 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 I mean, so stale I hate them. Give me five more, though. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm a little late. I was putting the finishing touches on my latest invention. What does it do? Well... It's supposed to be a retractable sword and shield set. It's not only handy for transportation, but looks super cool in battle as well. Knuckles is actually the one who requested it. Protecting the Master Emerald can become quite mundane. And these new items will totally up my kill factor. Exactly! Tails takes out the sword and soon a blade emits from the handle. Everyone looks impressed at it. Wow, Tails, that sure is impressive. Suddenly, the blade shoots out and heads straight towards Rouge as she is coming through the door. Sonic quickly runs to her aid and catches the piece. Oh, what is going on here? Just another one of Tails' failed projects. I told you guys it was a work in progress. But hey, I... Sonic throws the piece, it flips, and he catches it. Got to show off my awesomeness and save your life. Well, thank you for the rescue, but that certainly wasn't what I expected to be greeted with. Although, Amy really put those decorations to good use. The house looks divine. Cream helped as well. Yep, and I even baked the cookies. That's great. However, I have some bad news to tell you. Shadow isn't coming. No! <laughs> I knew he wouldn't come. He can't handle the fun we're gonna have. In fact, we probably have more fun because he isn't here. Amy glares at Sonic as she puts her hand on Cream's shoulder. Well, we have all night. Maybe he will change his mind. Probably not. Sorry, sweetie, but when Shadow makes up his mind, that's about final. Yeah, perk up. We don't need that emo wannabe anyways. No! I am not going to let Shadow miss another Christmas with the people who care about him. If he won't come to the party, then I will just have to bring it to him. Cream grabs the tray of cookies and leaves the house. Aw, she took the cookies. I think we have more important issues than cookies, Sonic. Cream must be heading to Shadow's den. I agree. What if Cream gets hurt? She's a capable young girl. I'm sure she will be fine. It's Shadow I'm worried about. Shadow would never hurt her. He babysits her for vanilla sometimes. They have a special bond. Sure would be nice to have a retractable sword right about now. It wasn't finished yet. Well, I still think we should go after her. <laughs> Relax!
like Saints, she'll get there and realize how boring he is. And come back, problem solved. No, that's what you would do. Cream isn't you. She's going to do everything she can, even if it becomes too much. I'm going to go after her, whether you join me or not. Cream is shown flying through the night with the warm cookies and a determined expression on her adorable face. She finally reaches the ominous house of Shadow and stops at the door. She quickly knocks and waits patiently. Soon, the door comes up slowly to reveal Shadow. Cream, what are you doing here so late? You didn't show up. To what? Amy's happy Christmas party? Of course not. What kind of a hedgehog do you think I am? One that is invited to a get-together every year and should finally show up. I am not going to be swayed. Not to you, not Omega, and not Rouge can convince me that this party isn't a waste of time. Cream becomes distraught and storms inside. She drops the cookies on his counter violently. How could you say such a thing? Christmas is a time for people to come together and remember how much they care for one another. Why are you so cold even at this time of year? All I wanted was for you to feel the happiness I know you deserve. All I wanted was for you to experience Christmas the right way with all of us. I don't need Christmas to know that you care about me. But none of them do. So there's just no point in going. That's not true. Rouge and Amy picked out the decorations they thought you would enjoy. And even Sonic says he anticipates your arrival every year. You're a part of this team, Shadow. You're a part of this family. I don't care what you say about them. I'm not going to a party where I will not be respected for the ultimate life form I am. Besides, I need my alone time. Shadow walks further into his house. Cream turns around upset and then flies after him. Fine, have it your way. If you don't want to celebrate Christmas with any of them, then you have to at least enjoy it with me. Fine, fine, but only so you don't run off into the cold again. I'll give your little Christmas a chance. Cream lights up as she offers Shadow a cookie and turns on a Christmas movie. Let me show you how to really enjoy Christmas, Mr. Shadow. Cream beams as she sits down with him. He frowns mostly, but when she isn't looking, smiles warmly. A montage shows Cream singing carols and offering Shadow a mic. He turns it away, but eventually sings in a monotone voice Jingle Bells. The next scene shows Cream making a mess in the kitchen, making gingerbread houses while Shadow makes a gingerbread gun. The last scene shows Cream hanging up one of Shadow's shoes on the fireplace as a stocking, and Shadow putting up a proper sock instead. Finally, they are sitting in silence in front of the fire. So, what did you think? Wasn't this better than being alone? I admit, it was more enjoyable spending my time with someone else. But I still do not regret not going to that party. It's just, it's more tolerable spending it with you, Cream. I might even say that it made me happy. I have accomplished my mission then. All of a sudden, the whole crew barges in. Cream! Baker! They all rush in, but stop at the sight of them. Shadow stands up and scowls at the group, and Cream turns to them as well. I'm fine, guys. I was just teaching Mr. Shadow about Christmas cheer. And now I have to be interrupted by all of you. Wow. I guess I underestimated you, buddy. You really can enjoy Christmas. <laughs> Sorry about that. We just needed to make sure Cream was safe. And she guilt forced us to come with her. Well, you checked on her. Now go back to your little party. Shadow, dear, we weren't only concerned for her safety, but we're here for you as well. Yeah, we wanted to personally invite you to the party, again! Oh, well I'm not coming. And since we knew you would say no, I had Tails bring one of his inventions that'll actually work. I present the party cannon. I got the idea from someone called, uh, Pinkie Pie, I think. Anyway, this device is designed to bring the party to you, and that is just what we need right now. Tails activates the cannon, and it decorated the din with Christmas cheer. Shadow begins to sear with rage until Cream tugs on his arm. Can we enjoy Christmas with some of our friends too, Mr. Shadow? Fine. But only for you, Cream. Yay! At that, the group files in and turns up the music. Amy comes over and dances with Shadow before switching to Sonic, 
and Cream puts reindeer antlers on his head. Shadow reluctantly keeps them on and goes along with the festivities. Time passes, and they are all sitting around the fire once more. I'm so happy you decided to join in on the party, Shadow. Yes, especially since we need all the help we can get to clean this mess up. Sonic laughs and slaps him on the back. Shadow glares at him as he continues. <laughs> you know what? Even though you're a total edge hog, I'm actually glad I was wrong about you coming this year. Shadow is surprised by his words and thinks about what they have said. He then gives a small smile. Maybe I'll give your party another chance next year, Amy. But only if Cream decides to make cookies again. <laughs> <laughs>